Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and I'm gonna be showing you today in easy steps how to make this herringbone peyote full leaves seed beads earrings. Remember to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't, also like, share and comment, in this way you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like it. Check description for a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 all seed beads, red, yellow, green and orange. Here I'm also using earring findings, in this case in golden color, use them in any color you like. This is size D, Nymo thread, which is 0.3 millimeters of thickness. This is size 11 beading needle, you could use size 10 or 12 as well. And these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up two of those beautiful green beads. And I'm going to slide those down. I'll leave here a small tail, let's say 10 inches or 25 centimeters to finish my work with it later. And now what I want to do is to go as I'm exiting through one of my beads to go through the second one and I pull. Okay. Now I have those beads next to each other with the holes in this direction. Take another two green beads and as I'm exiting here from one of the greens I'm going in the other one. Okay, now I have the herringbone part in the center started and now I'm going to take one yellow bead and I will start the peyote steps at the side. So as I'm exiting through this green bead, I go backwards through this green that I have here in the center. Okay, it sits like this. Then I'm going to take two green beads. And again, like in regular herringbone, I'm going in the following green bead. Okay. Now here I need another yellow one like this one. And which is the way I could add it. Okay. I take this yellow and what I need to do to add it is to go through this green bead here. But from the bottom to the top. In this way I'm creating something like a loop and I'm attaching it. Oops, sorry, in the beginning it's a little bit difficult because it's small and it needs a little bit of fixing. Okay, now I have this. In my next step guys, what I want to do is to exit through this yellow but in this direction because I want to add more steps with peyote stitch on the side of this herringbone in the center. If you're not familiar with the stitches, don't worry. This in the center is herringbone and at the side it is peyote. Uh, but I will show it easy and step by step and you will be able to make it. Okay, now I want to exit through this bead in this direction. So first what I need to do is to turn directions. And how I do this, I go diagonally through this bead. I'm turning directions without any thread showing. That is why I'm going diagonally like this. And then in the neighbor one. And in this one. And you see what I do here. Uh, I'm turning directions. I was going through this bit in this direction. And I'm going through the same bit but in this direction. If you're familiar with odd count peyote stitch, this will make sense to you. If not, you will understand it just now. I'm here where I told you I want to be. But I already changed directions and I'm going in this. From here to here. 
and why I did this because here at this side I want another peyote step peyote stitch step with another yellow bead you see and the only way to add it is to be exiting out of this one in this direction okay then I continue with the herringbone in the center I take two beads and I go like this fix them okay and here is the step where I'm adding another yellow bead at the side with peyote stitch now guys I want to continue adding in the same way uh, beads on the side I'm exiting out of this bead so I could just take one and go through the top one okay and in my next step I need another one but this time I will add it red in every two rows that I have here I will add a red one but this is uh, the pattern part okay now I take two green beads and I go here in the same manner forming the herringbone part and here as I said I need a red one and I'm going through the next yellow and I'm here guys exiting out of the second yellow if you count from this part here this is the second yellow I'm exiting out of it and I want another yellow here and how was I adding it take one yellow and as I'm exiting here I go here in this yellow but from the top to from the bottom to the top okay I have it here now I need to make repositioning so my thread is exiting of the neighbor bead in this direction not in this one but in this one and in this direction and how I do this I make the familiar repositioning and this is going diagonally through the next bead and turning back through this bead now guys you see I changed the direction of my thread without any thread showing this was my intention and then I go through this yellow okay I need another yellow and I go here in the red one now I'm going to start with the orange beads okay I take one orange and go here in the central herringbone part two green beads and go through this green forming another row of herringbone one orange and go through the red one yellow and go through the yellow okay now here I will increase some more from this side and I need another another yellow one okay I take it and I directly go here from one side it's easy the increase and from the other side I need additional repositioning here I need a red one and I go in the orange I need another orange and I go in the green and then two green beads orange again then red
Now guys, I again, I come to this part where I increase and I want to add additional yellow bit here. I take it and I go like this from the bottom to the top. Okay. Now the easy step of repositioning going diagonally through the neighbor one and going back again through the neighbor like this I will turn it because it's easier for me go here and go here okay now when I turn I have this take another yellow bead and go in the red one and take another orange and go here in the orange and you know after every two rows I need a red bead and I'm going here in the green one and take two green beads and go through this green and a red one because in every two rows the third one is red and I'm adding some orange beads around here around the green part and here I need another yellow And I'm adding another yellow, guys. I'm still increasing. And at one moment, I will stop increasing. And I will start just adding beads without increasing. Okay, and I need another orange bead go here two green beads orange orange again And here I am guys where I want to add another another bead. I'm still increasing and I'm taking a yellow bead. I go through this one but now guys diagonally I will also go through the next one. In this way I will save time. Okay. I have it added here. And now it's easier for me to turn directions. I go through the neighbor bit and through this one. And this is the familiar repositioning of my thread. Okay. Now I have one, two, three, four, five bits added at the side. I'm also counting the green ones. And I want to have six, so I will be increasing with one more bead from each side. Now after the two rows of orange, I will continue with yellows. Another red one. orange again 
two green beads. Orange. It tells me that I need a red one. Yellow. Because of the sides I have yellow. And again yellow. Now it is the easy part where I add one yellow and go through this one and now my increase is ready. So from this side I'm not increasing anymore. I will show you what I mean. Okay, I flip because it's easier for me to go in this direction. I need a red one. A yellow one again I need yellow and here after two beads around my green part in the center the herringbone parts I need red This is just how my pattern this is just how my pattern goes. This is how I chose it. You could choose different pattern. Then I need a red one. Yellow. yellow and orange now here next to the last one I need another bead and how I add it I go backwards through it like this this is my last increase that I'm doing here guys then what I do is that I diagonally go through the neighbor bead and diagonally and through the next one changing directions okay then backwards through the yellow okay then I'm going to flip guys and I need here yellow and I'm going to add more mostly yellow and red here at the sides orange two green beads orange and yellow and red at the sides okay now I'm flipping my work and as I said guys here I'm not adding any more beads what I do instead is that I just directly go through the top bead like this adding nothing yes your thread will show a little bit from this side but choose more like a clear thread and not that much visible okay and I continue the same way
okay now i prefer to flip and i will show you how i'm decreasing not going not adding anything but just going in this direction Okay, and now I'm exiting through the last bead here from this row. I flip and again I don't add anything, I just go like this. And I need yellow. Then instead of green, two yellows. Turn it the way it's easier for you. Now guys the familiar step of flipping my work and I'm skipping one and going through the following. guys I add only one yellow instead of two okay now I flip and here again guys I don't add anything but I just go through the following another decrease from this side and I will continue adding just some more beads But I'm adding them only at the sides. I'm not adding anything at the top here. I'm just skipping the top part. And with this guys, this part of my earring is ready. I just need to go through some beads, make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, I'm going here. Making a loop. Going twice. Through 
through the loop I've made, pulling, going through some beads in this direction, and I'm cutting this tail thread. Now guys, I will put a needle on this side and I'll be back to tell you how to finish your work. Okay, my friends, I put needle on this side and I'm taking two green beads. I go in the same way with herringbone stitch here. Okay, now this is what I have. Another two. And in my last step, guys, I take a green one, an earring finding, and a green one. And I go from one to the other green. Okay, I reinforce this joint by going several times through it. Make a loop, go twice through the loop I've made. Pull and go through some beads in this direction. And cut this tail thread. Okay guys, and now my herringbone peyote stitch full leaves, seed beads, earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't. Also like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support, guys. Check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Also support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.